coronavirus. The coronavirus. Coronavirus. Australia has suffered its deadliest day so far in the coronavirus pandemic. Tonight on Kiwi's Corner, the entire world continues to fall into inescapable doom. Jobs are being lost and people are dying. But the only people profiting from the COVID situation are introverted weeaboos. Now more than ever, otakus have more time for activities such as beating each other senseless in Animal Crossing, masturbating to Class A hentai, and most importantly, watching some good old anime. Yes, the final piece to the exodia that is the modern weeaboo. So with all this abundant free time, here are three anime movies for your coronavirus quarantine. Now back to Kubikaze. Number three, a silent voice. It's always great to start off an anime list with some grade A bullying that makes you want to kill yourself. A Silent Voice explores so many different elements such as love, bullying, and suicide, but it starts off when Shoko Nishimiya, a deaf girl, transfers into a new elementary school. Here she is bullied by Shoya Ishida and a few of the other students for having a disability. These actions force Shoko to transfer away, and I would too if dumbass kids yeeted my hearing aids or yelled in my ear making me bleed rivers. Anyways, this sets off a course of events pulling the audience in multiple directions. We're left crying in one scene, then angry at a character, crying again, and oh, a food scene? Hello there. A Silent Voice is a story about redemption and growing up, but mainly standing up for those with disabilities, which perfectly highlights the racism against the Asian community right now. Like, every other post in my Facebook feed is an Asian person getting gangbanged or yelled at, even when they're not Chinese. I don't know, the point is A Silent Voice is great, and it reminds us as human beings to help those who can't defend themselves. Plus, no matter how many times you watch it, keep some tissues handy. Specifically for what reason? I'll leave it up to you. But before we get too emotional about A Silent Voice, leave some leftover bodily fluids for its predecessor, Your Name. Your Name follows the adventure for love between Taki, a city boy, and Mitsuha, a country girl. One day they start magically swapping bodies until Taki travels to visit Mitsuha in her hometown. And not so spoiler alert, he finds out the whole town was wiped out by a goddamn comet. The whole plot essentially covers Taki and what he needs to do to time travel and prevent the catastrophe from happening. There's so many reasons your name is a true masterpiece, but not more than the breathtaking scenery, compassionate soundtrack, and all the self-touching. Here, watch. But back to the scenery and soundtrack. Because of all this, it's no coincidence that your name was a literal 2016 hype beast, pretty much surpassing Spirited Away. Speaking of which, Spirited Away is not number one on this list for a few reasons I'll talk about later. But it's definitely an honorable mention for now, which you should check out if you watch the others already. So now begs the question, QB, what is your top pick? Your true banger, your kawaii in the sheets, senpai in the sheets, number one anime movie. 2009 Summer Wars. Ah, okay, so I love this movie for so many reasons. Before SAO Ordinal Scale, this was the anime game movie. I first stumbled onto it because of Toonami one night, and since then I watch it at least three times a year. Like, after filming this video, I'm gonna go watch it. And probably gonna do a watch with me over on Instagram, at Kubikazi. But what makes this Summer Wars movie my top pick right now? Family. Yeah. Family. The value of love and togetherness during a crisis. Something I feel we all need right now. Summer Wars starts off as this kiddie adventure and uses gaming to lure in an audience. But it keeps you with its raw and real story. A story of a broken family coming together in the end to overcome death and separation. Lots of people are dying all over the world right now and hurting physically, emotionally, and financially. So you should subscribe to Kibikaze for more anime and Asian related content. But seriously, if you've never seen any of these anime movies, I have no words to persuade you to watch them. All I can say is maybe they could give you that break to laugh, smile, and cry with some of your loved ones during this 
dark time. Other than that, I hate to end my videos on sad notes, so thank you guys so much for watching this video. For more anime and Japanese culture videos, please subscribe over here and join the QB cult, the most lit anime fam in Hawaii. Wow. Also, here's my top five anime to watch right now as well. Anyways, my name is Kibikati saying, Sayonara.